Hey guys, today we're going to try detailing up a Gundam Converge figure. So this is something that I wanted to do for a long time, finally getting around to just sitting down and doing this. This is a Gundam Converge figure. They're just these small little plastic figures. The, some of them have a little bit of articulation to them, but really they're just kind of meant to just be just kind of standing there, uh, just looking cool. So basically what I want to try doing is just uh, detailing this up by just adding a little bit of like panel lining, maybe a little bit of detail painting. I think this particular one, this is the Grimoire, I think it really isn't going to take too much... Uh, and detail painting because most of the colors are there already uh, but just want to try out doing some stuff and then adding maybe a couple just little water slide decals to this as well so we're gonna try it out I don't really know how this is gonna go but uh, the first thing I've done is I just sprayed some just gloss uh, top coat over this just some uh, Gaia uh, uh, clear gloss I just sprayed over this first to just give us a nice glossy surface to do the panel lining first. So I think the first thing I want to do is do some panel lining. And I have this. This is the Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color Black. Uh, so I think I'll use this maybe for the dark brown areas, but for the white and the yellow areas, I want to do that in gray. So I think I'm just going to just uh, take some of this here. This is just a Tamiya uh, enamel German gray. It's just a darker gray color. Uh, just thin this down and then try that because the black will be too dark, I think, in, especially in these white areas. And as you can see here, some of these panel lines around here on the head are not that deep, so not really sure how well this is going to work, but it's going to be an experiment, so let's try it out. First thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of sticky tack to stick this down here. I'm not going to worry about the undersides of the feet. Uh, but just going to stick it to this uh, little cup here, just so it's easier to hold, and also take off the arms. Uh, some parts of these figures are glued in place, and others are not, so just taking it apart will make it a little easier to work with. So I've got the two arms and the shield. The gun can also be separated, but I'll just leave that on the arms, so then this is just going to be easier to work with. So these other parts, I'll just kind of clip to pegs, so those are easy to handle. Uh, not clipped to pegs, but I mean clipped to just some alligator clips here. I'll just set those off to the side. And uh, my Tamiya accent color uh, sometimes works okay, but a lot of times I find mine is really, really too thin. I've heard of other people's uh, being too thick, not enough thinner in theirs, but I find mine, no matter how much I shake it up, stir it up, and everything, it's still too thin. Uh, so. I don't know, we'll see if it works. If this doesn't work, then I'll just thin just some regular just black paint. But uh, we'll give this a try here. Hmm. Seems to be okay. So I guess this is going to work. Okay, so... Uh, all that paneling. I decided to just panel the uh, yep, panel line the yellow areas in black as well because I didn't think it's too bad. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, just I was there. So really, the only part that I need to panel line in with gray is there on the head. So I really don't need a whole lot of this. Just going to mix up a little bit of this uh, German gray again here. This is just Tamiya enamel. Um, I get asked a lot about like, do I have to use this kind of paint, or can you use some other different kind of paint? Uh, if you don't have access to Tamiya enamel paint, which is what I use for this, you can try other kinds of paints. By all means, just try it. I really don't know. This is just what I use. This is what I've always used uh, for this, and it works for me for what I've needed it for. Um, you may not have access to it, or it may not work for exactly what you need it for. <clears throat> so, you know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, just got some uh, enamel thinner here. I really don't need a lot of this, so as you can see, I barely put any paint in here at all. Just going to just make sure I just have enough so that I can just get a little bit of a lining here. My brush, 
mix this up. That's too thin, so I need to add a little bit more paint. Uh, you can be more scientific about your paint mixtures. I am lazy, and I just kind of eyeball it. So, if there's extra paint in here that I don't end up using, I can just pour it back into the bottle, if there's really that much, so... We'll see, should be fine. So there we go, it's messy, but uh, I'll just give this uh, some time to dry. Um, 30 minutes or something will probably be fine, it should be dry enough, then I can just start to clean it up with the Q-tip, so we'll come back after that. Alright, so that has had sufficient amount of time to dry. Uh, I've just got some lighter fluid in here. I sometimes use uh, enamel thinner for cleaning up panel lines, or sometimes lighter fluid. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use lighter fluid just to change it up a little bit. And then I can just go ahead and start cleaning this up. Okay, so that's all cleaned up. It turns out like that dark brown is really dark and the black is just doesn't really show up too much. Like in some places, like here down on the feet, you can kind of see where that black is showing up. Uh, but it's kind of basically just too dark. Anyway, so on the yellow, obviously the black is very obvious. And then on the head, that gray is nice there. So that all worked out really nice and well. Now what I wanted to do next was just uh, go ahead and add a little bit of detail, uh, just adding in some colors that are missing from this, but really the only colors that are really missing is if you see on the front skirt here there's that little bit of like that yellowish brown there that's supposed to be here on the back skirt as well and then the hands, the like not the hand guard but just the fingers and thumb are supposed to be in that same color yellow as well. I don't really want to be I really just can't be bothered with trying to mix that exact same color of yellow. really wouldn't be the hardest thing to do. Uh, but since it's just this small thing, I think I'm just going to do it a little bit differently. I'm just going to use this same German Grey that I used for that lining and just do a little bit of, just a tiny little bit of detailing uh, here. Just a very, very small little bit with this. I'm not even going to thin this paint, even though I usually would want a thin paint, but I'm going to be doing such a tiny little amounts of painting on this. I really don't think I'm going to need to. So, like the first thing I'm going to do is just these small little circles there on the feet. Just going to fill those in here with gray. And this as well, I'm not even sure how much this is even going to show. But I think once it's got top coat on there, and I mean once you look at it like up close, and the top coat is on there, you should maybe sort of be able to tell that it's different. But it's just these tiny little details. Uh, that uh, you'll be able to see if you look at the figure up close. So, just gonna paint these little guys in here. So you can sort of see there's just a little bit of different color with those little gray spots. It's just showing up especially well now because the paint is still wet so it's like shining a different color but anyway. Also gonna paint these little bits here on the knee. And like the knee, these little circle bits here on the arm, I'm gonna also just paint these. This is not officially this color, I think. Officially these are just the same color as the rest of the shoulder. But just to give mine a little bit more detail here. So yeah, not sure how well that's gonna actually show up <laughs> once this is all done, but we'll see. 
And the last thing here, just going to paint in some of these little details on the gun as well. Okay, so one last thing I do want to do here. For the rifle, the camera is actually set back here, uh, but then we also have this gap here. This part here, which looks like it kind of should be the camera, that's where like that beam whip comes out. Uh, but I'm just going to make that the camera on mine, or anyway, I'm just going to paint that in this orange color. But because this is on a like really dark part, I'm going to lay down a little bit of white first. So just a little bit of white just to make sure that it's got a nice uh, bright base. And then when I put the orange, it'll be really bright in there. So let me just do that here. Alright, so that obviously I will have to clean up a little bit. I'll just give that a few minutes to dry, clean that up, and then I can lay down the orange. Okay, so finally, the last thing that I want to do is just put a couple of water slides on here. Now, uh, with it being so tiny, there's really not a whole lot of room for water slides, even the tiniest of water slides, but I do have some really super tiny ones that I'm going to try to fit a couple. Uh, these are from HIQ. Sorry, you're getting a lot of glare on that. These are 144 scale... NC decal 05, 144 scale, uh, just red decals here. So they look like this. Just gonna put a couple of these on the head and then have some of these. These are tank decals from some tank. I don't know, anyway, there's a lot of, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, 172 scale pit road decal series. I don't know, but there's a lot of really cool, just tiny little decals. I'm just going to use one of these really super small numbers on there. Yeah, I think you guys can't really see that, but I'm going to put one of those numbers on the shield and then a couple of small little red ones on the head. Okay, so ended up doing a little bit more than I expected. There's the shield, a uh, little 17 there on the shoulder, and then uh, 17 there in the three, this is the third unit, in the 17th squad or something. I don't really know about that, but anyway. Uh, then a couple of decals there, one on the top of the head, one on each side and then one there in the stomach, kind of hard to see because I know you're catching some glare there as well, but just up under there. Uh, so that's it, so the last thing now is just to give everything, everything uh, one more coat of uh, top coat, so let me do that and then I'll give you guys just the final look. So here's a look at what the figure looked like before, as you can see all the details were there, but uh, there was definitely some room for improvement with it being just a small, simple figure. I mean, these figures in Japan, they usually go for, I think, like 500 yen each. So about five bucks. That, I mean, for such a small little thing, I mean, it doesn't quite seem like you're getting all that much for five dollars. But, I mean, they are really nicely sculpted figures and the pre-painting on them is good. But, uh, yeah, as you can see here with a little bit of work, uh, they definitely can be very vastly improved. So. This was a really good experiment. It was good to finally try this out just to see how it would work and it seems to have worked out really well. I'm really happy with how this came out. Uh, decals, a couple of just little decals on there ended up looking really nice. The lining all came out really nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, overall just really 
excited now about the possibility of uh, going in and doing this on some of the other converged figures that I have. I do have plenty of them to work on, so uh, I don't know. Whatever the next one that I decide to work on is, we'll see. But I'll do another video for you guys at that time, I suppose, just to show you that maybe you don't really need to see every step of the process like I went over in this video, because this was just sort of a kind of testing the waters with the whole thing. But uh, next time I paint up one of these, or next time I detail up one of these, I'll be sure to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for that in the future. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos in the past going over some of the figures that I have, I mean, maybe if there's one that you know that I have that you really want to see, maybe let me know in the comments down below. And maybe I'll try to get to that. I do have a couple of bigger ones, like the Deep Striker or something. Those would definitely be bigger projects. But that could be fun, too, I guess. So... <laughs> Anyway, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions or comments about this, uh, you can leave those down below, I suppose. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.